How to use designer stencils in clay. First of all, you're going to roll out a slab of clay about a quarter of an inch thick. You're going to smooth it out and make sure it's compressed by using a SEM rib tool. We're going to let this clay sit out for about 30 minutes. We don't want it really, really wet or the stencil is going to stick to it. We want it to be dry enough that it goes into the clay and makes an indentation, but doesn't stick. So we smoothed it out with our fingers first, and now we're going to use a pony roller to try to go over the center of the stencil more so than the edges. When you press down, the edges are going to leave a little bit of an indentation, which we don't necessarily want. You don't want a hard edge on there. So you can take your finger and smooth out the edges and get rid of that indentation, or you can take a sim finishing sponge and rub out those indentations so that it looks like a smooth design. You can lay down your stencil again and try to continue the design on. Here we basically just try to match up some of the designs and again we're missing the hard edges of the stencil and just rolling over the design pattern. You can kind of peek by pulling up a corner and look and make sure that it looks good on there. Once you have your design in there, you can lay it in into any mold that you want. And what we're doing here is we just have a soft fabric like cotton filled with sand and we're tapping it down into the mold. Now, if this clay was really, really wet, what would happen is the uh, pressing that into there would get rid of our design. So again, that's why we let the clay sit for a little bit. Since we're pressing it down in there, we don't want a real hard edge, so we're kind of lifting it up on the edges with our fingers. We'll use a sim trimming knife to finish off the edges and beautiful artwork is at your hands.